Welcome to the 2011 National Card Show Recap. I'm your host, Sevens. Well, what an amazing show it was, I do have to say. I'll turn it around here quick. Um, wow, the, the overwhelming amount of people that were there. Just incredible. Meeting a lot of the people that I have never met in person before. Just some great people, down to earth, a lot of fun. Every single one of you that I met, I take my hat off and say it was a pleasure to meet you. Just, wow, uh, a ton of fun. An entirely different kind of fun from last year in Baltimore. More like a party atmosphere this year than last year, which is a little more low key. But just amazing nonetheless. I can't even start to say all the names of the people that I saw there. So instead, I'm going to show you. I brought my hat with, and I had everyone that I ran into sign this hat. And I can't possibly say all the names, but you know we'll show a bunch of them. There's Sictifer, Chris Fraylin, Neil from RBI Crew 7, Big Fish, Rob Men 9, I am 140. Uh, some of the names I'm not going to be able to remember to read. Uh, Scoth, Jobo369, Joe, Bryophia, Bum in a Suit. Ryan RBI up here on top. There's a whole bunch. Um, Mr. Cheese Tank. There's I A I U N D. Um, there is Squeepa 21, Motown Philly, B T, Thomas A. Young. We've got Harley over here, Ed Warha with the inscription 100% Homo, Truth 17. Go to the side of the hat. Uh, let's see, let me flip this around here. Uh, Beast of Cali. We've got Thundering24, Chad, what up? Uh, there's a Trishy, XXOO. End up using up all this time on here. Squall, uh, I'm just going to read a bunch of them off. Ike Love, Ken's Cards, Lil Maz, uh, Rick Nash 1975, Head Bando, uh, F5 Tornado Man, Dawkins 311. If I miss you, I apologize. Foxborough. Uh, over here, uh, Alan, ADS with the inscription Mexi-Jew. Uh, God, I'm sure I missed some. Flipping it over on the inside. There's uh, GC is me 2007. There's Josh Johnson 55, Amish Dave with the Amish man. I know Maya signed it on here somewhere. Uh, come on, Michael, don't screw this up. She's on here somewhere. I, I know I missed a few people. Um, mod 212, Mad 212, where is it, um, na -na -na -na, big dummy, oh, here's Vanessa, Famous Lemon 33, here's Maya, 13 gold gloves, so anyways, that is my prize possession for this weekend in Chicago, and it will go proudly on my shelf displayed with all my memorabilia. At this point, I'm going to turn the video over to uh, showing the cards that I brought back. First, I'm going to just whip through. I had an absolute rectal hematoma from the boxes that I bought. Unbelievable shanking, and I will not be buying boxes anymore. I think it's finally out of my system. So uh, I bought a box of 08 Football Heroes, four hits, and they came in the last five packs. So I was really crapping my pants. So I got something called Justin King. Something called Jay Lehman. And for my two jerseys, you're going to love this. Two Jason Campbell jerseys. Numbered 9 of 35 and 10 of 35. you got to love that. And then uh, Press Pass, 08. You got an Andre Woodson. Dorian Bryant. I gave away the Darius Raynaud to Bryophia and the... Jacob Tammy to a bum in a suit, and I was Caldwelled, right in the presence of Chad Caldwell. Then my box of, uh, of 08 Leaf Limited. What up, Denny? I got a three-color Lendale White. I don't think he's even on a team anymore. I got a dual jersey. This one is for sale, or for, well, for trade, not for sale, of Fred Taylor and Adrian Peterson. Actually, I think I'm going to send that to someone. The best hit I got was this jersey of Dan Marino, numbered to 100, and an Eddie Royal... 
it's a patch, I think, because of the numbering autograph, and it is numbered upside down, one of 15. If anyone's interested in that, it is for sale or trade. For trade, actually. Quiet, cat! Quit meowing! Um, Michael Turner, that, that was given to me by Squall, I believe. Uh, also out of the box, I did Don Russ Legends again, and I've already put away one of them. This was a hilarious hit. It's a Rick Majerus game used something or other, but we referred to it all weekend as the Rick Majerus diaper because it is hanging from his crotch as he's squatting in the picture, and it looks like he just got done crap in his pants. So the Rick, Rick Majerus diaper, absolutely for the loss. I got a Bobby Wanzer with uh, the inscription Hooks basketball card if anyone's interested for trade and a race car driver Al Unser Jr. again for trade number to 219 so just an absolute punch in the nuts from those boxes and it gets better I bought a box of Topps Magic hoping to get one of the one per case uh, chrome cards well sure enough uh, I did hit a Patrick Willis and I gave that to IM140 I hit a Kellen Clemens, which is about as terrible as you can get. And look, I did get a chrome. I was lucky. I did get the case hit. So I was pretty psyched when I saw that, except when I rolled up the name Brooks Foster. I don't think Brooks Foster himself would even buy this card. So again, I digress. No more of that. On to bigger and better things. The first card I got when I, re uh, when I got into town was this custom card made by Sictifer and it's uh, based on the 2008 masterpieces and he is entitled it Sicto Pieces. It is his own rendering and a sick one at that of Matt Ryan autographed on the back only available at the 2011 Nationals. Chris Fralin, Sictifer 2024 and it's one of ten. Only ten in existence. Some incredibly Sick toe cards. For the baseball Legend Hall of Fame PC, I got an Ivan Ivan Rodriguez quad. Uh, that's number to 150. And RBI crew, uh, Ryan just handed this card to me. It's a three color Vlad Guerrero patch. Falcons cards. Uh, let's see. Will Dawkins gave me this card. If I screw up who gave me a card, I apologize in advance. There was so much going on. I know I'm going to mess it up. So many people were handing cards over to each other. There's a Julio Jones jersey that was given to me. And I believe it was Squall 2828. And again, I apologize if I got it wrong who gave it to me. Number 16 of 50, my first Julio Jones auto. Very cool. Some baseball stuff I got for my Hall of Fame. Sictifer gave me this Fred Lynn inscribed Legends of Summer. That's number to 100. Also out of my box of Sports Legends, I did get this nice Pete Rose jersey. It's the first Pete Rose jersey card I have. So that's nice. One of my childhood, well, wasn't a child. I was a little older than a child. But a guy I used to love, Daryl Evans, played right field for the Red Sox. Had a cannon for an arm. I love that guy. Kind of modeled myself as a baseball and, or softball player after him. Work ethic and all that. Dawkins 311 gave me this Robin Yount, a.k.a. Bob Yunt card. Out of 09 Elite, numbered to 49, very nice. Uh, BT gave me this sick Nolan Ryan three-color patch, just off the hook, not numbered, unreal. One of my other favorite players, Willie Stargell, hard to find stuff of his, this awesome three-color patch. Sictifer gave me that from the show. He saw me looking at it, and he went over and bought it and gave it to me, unreal. And this is one I wanted to pick up while I was out there. I wanted to come back with an autograph of this guy for the Hall of Fame because he will be there. And of course, you know who that is, Derek Jeter. Really nice, clean autograph from Star Signings. So some baseball cards there, really awesome. Some football Hall of Fame stuff. Jobo369 gave me this really awesome Junior Seau patch. I picked up a Jim Marshall on-card autograph. Picked up a John Taylor inscribed 82 autograph. Legend, not Hall of Famer. Picked up this Thurman Thomas on card. Excellent card. Numbered to, uh, where is the number? Number to 25. I was given, uh, and I, God, it slips my mind right now. Bobby Mitchell autograph. Just an insane card. I do not have number to 99. My brother, King Midas, put this in, slid this in my pocket. He came up next to me 
It's a Sid Luckman hit stop is hard to find. It's really, really old and it's really expensive. And that's numbered to 40, so that's a great card for the Legends Hall of Fame. I picked up this Crazy Legs Hirsch cut autograph, very nicely centered. Most of his stuff, he signed it too big, so the die cut is usually covering up most of his autograph. So I'm pleased to find that one. First card I got from somebody when I was there that I bought from somebody was this nice Fran Tarkenton on card auto out of Ultimate Collection, number to 75. I did get uh, a Brian Erlache autograph. I did not have one of his. Big Fish 7499 gave me this absolutely filthy Roosevelt Brown cut auto out of 07 Limited, number to 150. That card is dirty. I am 140 hooked me up with this Joe Namath out of Top Supreme. It's a card that I was in the hunt for and I wanted to come back with this card and sure enough, wow, what a great card. Thank you so much to all you guys. One of my personal favorites from the weekend, Clyde Bulldog Turner, another really old school guy. You know when they wear that leather helmet? It is real patch, three color, definitely game worn. Those things sell high on eBay, and I got that for a steal, and it's number 25 of 25. I love that card. One of my favorites from the weekend. And freaking BT, out of the little care package he gave me, hands me a Bart Starr on-card auto with jersey. Just nuts. Uh, 2001 pros and prospects. So just some incredible Hall of Fame football stuff. And yes, this is going to go 15 minutes, so to get it all in there, uh, let's see, Squall2828 gives me the College Pride Matt Ryan signed jersey with part of the autograph going onto the card. I purchased from CLB Cowboys who hit this in a break while he was out there. 2009 National Treasures Matt Ryan autograph numbered to his jersey, 2 of 5. And I did pay for that card, but he gave me a really decent deal. And one of the killer cards of the weekend. Scott, 2244. Scott, I love you, man. He comes up, hands me this package. Ultimate signatures. I love Ultimate product. Matt Ryan, freaking one of one, and I damn near crapped my pants. And lastly, for my set, I got this Shannon Sharp inscribed 84 for the Fleer Autographics, and possibly one of the bigger cards of the weekend, if not the biggest, arguably. The Tom Brady. I did buy that from Bojack Empire. Thank you for the consideration of holding that card for me. Incredible. So all in all, came back with some really nice cards despite the uh, anal seepage and bleeding. On top of that, an item that I absolutely love. BT for my contest, for my signed autograph, gives me this fan that he picked up while he was in Beijing. Look at that sick autograph on one side. You flip it over, and he signed it in Chinese on the other side, which is just off the hook. And this thing fans out to where on one side, you've got the Chinese writing, and on the back side, you've got some really amazing artwork. And I absolutely love that piece. Thomas, thank you so much for bringing that out there and giving that to me. That means a lot. And one more item before I'm done for now. Uh, I ran into Marv58 suited, Mario, and he gave me a bib that he wore from his very first 5K race. It was a huge accomplishment in his life, and he said in his letter, he's honored and proud to have it be a part of my unique contest, and it has been autographed. It's a fantastic item. Just going to show that, just saying. And on the back, he shows his finish time, 2837, 103rd place overall, 6th in his age group, starting weight in 2007, 243 pounds. Current weight, 2011, 153 pounds, which is a weight loss of 91 pounds. Congratulations on that. Again, thanks to everybody for everything that they gave me this past week and to meeting everyone. It was just a spectacular time. Had a blast, it would do it all over again. And tomorrow I will be back showing all of these items waiting here on my table that were waiting for me when I got home that came in the mail. So again, hope everyone out of the house had a good time. And I'll see you again on the rebound!